Okay, Jim. Nice to see you. Don't look so nervous. You've had the injection? Yeah. Not the worst bit's over there. Okay, fine. You understand what we're going to do? We've got a set topic to discuss. They've been given out at random. And I'm going to observe your reaction times while we talk. Don't try to react quickly. Just at whatever speed feels natural. Ready? Yeah. Good. Okay, today our topic is... <laughs> got an interesting one. Is what we see around us really here? What? Is what we see reality? Is the real world real? Oh, God. Not that. You're familiar with the idea, then? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar with it. But you've never taken any interest in philosophy? No. I don't like philosophy. I don't like having my head screwed in. Fair enough. I'm sure we've got to talk about it, though. Lack of the draw. So what do you think? Is the real world real? Well, of course it is. It's a stupid question. I can see it, can't I? There it is, look. People see things that aren't there, don't they? Only if they're crazy. So you completely trust your senses, do you? They've always served me very well so far. Every war I've ever walked into has been solid. Don't you ever thought you saw something out of the corner of your eye and moved out of its way and then realised that there's nothing there? Just a trick of the light? Yes, but that's not something that's not there, is it? I mean, the trick of the light's real, right? It's just that your brain interprets it to mean something else. Well, that's precisely the point. We're not talking about senses. We're talking about perception. What you think you see, what you believe is real. At least for a moment you believe that the shadow or whatever is a solid obstacle. You get out of its way, you're perspective has been fooled. Yes. <coughs> but what you're saying is your perception is what you decide you're seeing. And what your senses get is just... Just the evidence on which you decide what you're seeing. Evidence which can be very easily falsified. Yeah, I can see that. I sort of knew that, but... What you normally see is backed up by, by what you know, is it? But you can't prove that the explanations are any more real than what they explain. Because the scientific knowledge on which the explanation is based, is itself based on sense perception. What else could it be based on? We have no way of knowing anything other than through our senses. And the human mind is perfectly capable of fabricating the most detailed and convincing fantasies we know that. People come up with false memories, incredibly plausible ones. I mean, there's a psychiatric hospital across the road filled with people living lives that bear very little resemblance to this one. Yeah, and that's why they're there. They're nuts. The point is they believe absolutely that their version of the world is true, just as you believe absolutely that yours is. But they aren't functioning in the real world. They're only funny fun. They're not functioning in your world. No. This world. They're not functioning in this world. It's not just mine. Are you sure? Ever taken LSD? Well, yeah, I mean, I have. So... Not like on a regular basis or anything. Don't really worry. It's not my business. I just mean if you try to listen, Agent, you, you know how totally your perceptions could be altered just by tiny amounts of a certain chemical. But, I mean, that's with chemicals, isn't it? I'm not saying you can't alter your perception. I'm just saying that I know when what I'm seeing is real. If I'm tripping, I know I'm seeing what's not really there. But now I'm not tripping. There are no chemicals in my head. I know what's real. Of course there are chemicals in your head. Your body runs on chemicals. Your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions, they're all determined by chemicals. If chemicals change, your feelings and perceptions change. If someone has too little serotonin, say, they become depressed. Give them serotonin, they become happier. With one set of chemicals, say LSD, you see and feel one thing. With another, say the ones your body produces, you see and feel something else. So if your body happened to produce LSD, you'd think that those perceptions were reality. Cool. I'd be living in a trip. But it wouldn't be a trip, would it? It would just be everyday reality. You might take the chemicals your body produces now as a drug, and then this reality would be an hallucination, wouldn't it? Yeah, but I see this every day. 
This is my everyday reality because these are the chemicals my brain produces. Is it is it okay if I smell it? Sure. The world is based on your perceptions. Not the other way around. No, I mean, I know you're wrong, but I can't argue with you. Don't No. We know that. You were given an injection before you came in here, weren't you? You have no idea what was in that injection. Perhaps it was some kind of hallucinogen. Perhaps none of this is real. Perhaps you're hallucinating the whole thing. You can do that. Maybe this room doesn't exist outside of your head. <laughs> Maybe you're just somewhere else altogether. Maybe you're someone else altogether. You see how tenuous your grip on reality is? You just don't know, do you? Well, you know that your, your perceptions can be easily warped. What reason do you have to trust your perceptions? All the evidence suggests you can't. How do you know what's real? Jesus Christ! It's solid! It's real, it is. I can feel it. I almost cracked my knuckles on it. How can I almost bruise my knuckles on something that doesn't exist? You can hallucinate with all your senses. Touch is the least common, but it happens. People hallucinate. Smell, taste, sound. Oh, for God's sake, come on. This is just a lot of pseudo-philosophical bullshit. It's rubbish. You can argue anything. It doesn't mean... Maybe you're in a room on your own, talking to a non-existent person. I'm not really here, Jim. How about that? There's no one in this room but you. You were given an hallucinogen when you came in. None of what you're seeing is real. None of it, you. Nothing you can see is real. No. No. I'm just trying to freak me out. Where are you? What kind of bloody experiment is this? <laughs> and you and I had a really bad trip where someone's trying to do something to you. Know. What? I don't know why. You're losing something bad, don't you? Someone. Screw this. I'm real. You're real. This room is real. I don't know what you're trying to do to me, but I've had enough of it. I ain't having my head played with like this. Look, it hit the floor, it broke, it made a noise. Of course, it's real. What are you doing, trying to drive me crazy? All this crap, of course this is real. Just a cigarette. It's hot. It's hot things burn flesh. It's real, it'll burn me. If it burns me, it's real. Yeah. It really hurts. You want to go? <laughs>